What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Taking a Risk with George George. On today's episode, I'm solo again. Stay tuned to find out what trouble I get into. So the reason I'm sold today is actually because the honey's best friend is getting married and I just dropped her off at the venue. So this is where it's at. She's inside getting ready and I have several hours to get into as much trouble as I possibly can. So let's wander around and see what we can find around here. I am in the middle of nowhere, so I have no clue what there is to do around here, but I'll figure it out. Take a look at this. This is the venue for her best friend's wedding. And, uh, it's in about six hours, so I'm just gonna walk around. And um, it's not its not just this building. I know that looks a little run down. It's actually really nice inside that building, but I gotta show y'all what's over there, so hang tight. It is a beautiful fall day, and check this out. That breeze feels so good. It's so nice and cool. Mr. McGregor's Garden, no rabbits. This is cute and beautiful. At the same time, it's cutiful. I love it. There's probably frogs in there. Or maybe there was frogs in there, but let's go check out what's over there. Oh, that's a beautiful... I thought that was a pink flower for a second. It technically is, but it's... Uh, it's a wind catcher, I think. This area is magnificent. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, and I have six hours to just explore, because I'm pretty much dressed. Oh, wow, that is so cool. Check it out! Oh, you remember me. We were here yesterday for the rehearsal. Oh, yeah, y'all remember me. Yeah, come on, come on. How freaking adorable. Y'all know I love horses and I love many things, just like the honey. And this is a mini horse. And these look like mini goats. Look at these little, little, little guys right there. Those are the, I think the big ones. Those are the little, little ones. Super duper adorable. I think this is all the animals on this little farmish area. What? Hello, hello, hello. You are so cute. Hello. We don't get to see many of you in the city, but we do like coming out to the uh, country every chance we get. You are so tiny and you're so proportionate. I'm not used to a tiny proportionate little goes, hey, why are you pushing him? <laughs> you're a big ram, aren't you? He does not want me interacting with the little ones. Oh, you are so cute. Yeah, I don't have food this time. Oh, you're gonna nip me, I know you are. You look like a nipper. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I was walking away and listened to those screams. I'm coming, I'm coming. I couldn't get 10 feet without you screaming. Oh, and then you're just gonna run. Okay, okay. Do you wanna say something? <laughs> you just wanna scream at me. You are so cute just staring at me. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. This has always been a dream of mine to have horses. Hopefully one day. I gotta go. No, I gotta go. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be back later tonight, literally, and then we can play. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye to you too. All right, so leaving the wedding venue, check out this one lane road. Only way in and out and look, they housed pterodactyls on this property. How crazy is that? Probably why this place went the way it did. Pterodactyls came and took over the neighborhood and drove everybody out. Super duper sketch, this one lane road. But I love stuff like this. It's very beautiful, very serene. I love it, love it, love it. Just a little sketchy, that's all. Lots of people love little sketchy things. Like notebooks, for example. Now, I know I said I was on a rinky dink little road before, but check this out. And I've actually just remembered that I used to drive this all the time. When I used to work for Brinks, the armored uh, money delivery service, this was actually my Corner route. Road, turn right onto McDonald Road, Southwest. There you go, McDonald Road. Maybe there's a McDonald's over there. Not that I'll stop, but this is awesome. And I totally uh, am having flashbacks. This is too cool. I've never seen this bridge before. This must be a newly built bridge. Road, I'm just kidding. Road, that bridge has been Any there for probably 100 years. On the right. There we go, folks. We are here at the Two Glaciers Park. Let's check it out. This you is not ice. Yes, I have. All right, so just parked off of the street, and this is the parking lot. This is it. 
They've got their tour bus parking only, which I think is pretty neat that they have a specific spot for tour buses. I honestly don't feel like uh, tour buses probably come here that often anymore, but I could be wrong about that. Check this out. I love that they have the seating area. I hope this isn't it. There is an up part. You can see right there, there's a rail. Uh, I decided to come quick right instead of taking the left path. So uh, I want to see what's over there. I see the chains, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, look at this nice little path to go down there. It is quite a beautiful day. That is for sure. It's a little uh, damp, which is fine with me. Oh, I'm not gonna go any further, that's all mud. But check that out. Oh, is that not things of dreams right there? That is worthy of a painting, that is for sure. Definitely more worthy than what I'm giving it. <laughs> that's for sure. But you know, we do what we can. Oh, look at that, another waterfall. That's gonna be the new theme of this show, is finding waterfalls. And uh, I definitely will go chasing waterfalls. All right, so there actually is a debate going on in my household right now, and it's ever since we announced that we were gonna sell the house, sell what we own, get an RV, hit the road, take the kids across the country. Uh, the one thing we can't uh, figure out or decide, because we both have zero experience in this, we don't, we. I don't think I've ever been in an RV that actually drove around, besides for, you know, uh, Jeremy's and stuff like that. So she would like to know, should we get an RV that is drivable or should we get a tow behind? And um, hold on one second. I know I interrupted myself, but that's okay. I got to that fence. It says, stop. No motorized vehicles beyond this point or on the trails violate or subject to prosecution. Fairfield County. And this one looks like it has a bunch of bullet holes in it. That's why I really stopped. What is going on there? This is the uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife. I think this is okay to walk. I'm not seeing anything that's telling me not to, so let's get to it. This is beautiful. Not really a... Uh, it's, this is definitely a trail to me. This isn't... Or a path, I guess, is more realistic. Kind of just following where it looks like. It looks like somebody drove, so them saying no vehicles. Gotta hop over this. Oh, feeling like... Ah, feeling like I'm 52 again. Oof. All right, this is, I mean, it's nice and clear. It looks like they definitely took a brush hog through here, which is one of my fond memories of Florida, which is one of our destinations. That is pretty much where we're going first. I lied. Where we're going first is actually a surprise. Where we're going after that is definitely Florida. We want to get there around, uh, um, like, November-ish, December-ish time when the weather really starts to change and get colder. I absolutely fell in love with the Florida weather in January this year when we were up there, down there technically. Ooh, what is this? Oh man, how strange that somebody brought their like fish bowl pebbles and just scattered them right there. I wonder if that's like a ceremonial thing, like their fish passed away and that was the way they honored him or her by uh, sprinkling his fish bowl pellets or rocks all over the trail. Oh, those are beautiful. Check that out. Super duper cute. I wonder if this is it. This is the, uh, that was the whole trail. They hit these logs and decided that was enough. Oh man, what a gorgeous day. I gotta say, oh wow, look at all that, all that landslide for sure. That's what that looks like to me. Not 100% sure, it could have just been, I mean, the, the way that's so steep and all runny, that definitely looks, oh yeah, that's definitely a landslide. I can now see the, uh, root system there yep wow crazy crazy so i wonder if they closed off the trail for a while while they were cleaning all this up because that very well could have fallen splintered and flew all the way over here which could explain all this but let's see this definitely leads into like a this cannot be a trail i've seen two cars come now behind me and go towards the up path and then they instantly come right back down so i'm wondering I mean, two glaciers, where's the second glacier? I haven't even found the first one yet. This is really tall grass now. I'm not wearing my hiking shoes as y'all just saw. This was uh, impromptu, I didn't know I was gonna come do this. Figured I had some time, yeah, there's no trail, no path. This is just a big open field, which is beautiful nonetheless. Go I love the overcast, believe it or not, I really do. I love the strong sun right behind it. 
I love days like this. It's like mid 60s. That's my favorite temperature. My favorite range of temperatures actually is between like 65 and 75, somewhere in there. Oh, no, I thought I found something. I did not. No cool treasures for me. So yes, going back to what I was saying earlier about how we, neither of us have any experience with RVs. So she's wondering, um, now for the most part, for a few months, we're not gonna hit the road right away. We're gonna let the kids stay in school a bit. This is Jackson's, he's in first grade. So this is like his first like real, real school. And Evelyn, she's in pre-K and they absolutely love her. And I can see like just in the few weeks that she's been going to school, there's so many improvements in her speech and just the way she uh, acts around us. I think it's finally cause she's getting some decent socialization, which is great with other people, especially ones that are trained to handle little ruffians. <laughs> she's, our, she's our little rough rough for sure. So I'd like to know uh, your guys' opinions. What do you prefer? Have have you ever driven one long term? Have you done something like we're going to do or we're just going to travel from spot to spot for a year or so or maybe more? Uh, what offers the most comfort? Because I would like to buy a truck. That's always been something I've wanted to do. But the thing is, the only way I'm getting a truck is if we buy a pull behind, which she's not sure about. I really don't care. I'll be happy. Uh, no matter what we're in. It'll be a new experience and I'll enjoy it no matter what. That's just how I am about most things. So we'd have to get the pull behind if I'm gonna get a truck, but if we go with the drivable ones, like one of those really nice luxury ones, uh, we're gonna keep her car and we're gonna tow it. So I'm gonna sell my car. So that's the, uh, that's the trade-off there. Do I wanna get a truck or do I want more luxury, which is what I picture I'm sure some of those pull behinds are super luxurious. You know what, let me know. I'm gonna stop speculating. Just let me know, folks, please. All right, just got back to the car. I'm gonna take that upward path and see where that leads, but uh, I had to mention that before I got in here, I have a huge uh, war and vendetta against uh, cucumber beetles, and it just so happened that one flew into my ear while I was getting into the car, and... <sighs> All right, so let's see what's up this trail. Oh, it looks like a house. So this is two glaciers, so I'm wondering... Oh, there's a bunch of houses. How strange. So the park must have literally just been that bottom part. I think I'm gonna have to go find another one. That's why people are turning around. That's what you love to see, folks. You come flying up a hill at 45 miles an hour and there's just chickens in your way. These are some beautiful chickens too. All right, let's move it. It happens every so often, folks. I find a road that I absolutely fall in love with. And this is right after the chicken, so this is this is it for sure. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful. I love, love, love this type Turn right onto Clearport of uh, roads. Southwest. An observation I'm making while driving in this on these country roads is that a lot of the houses, besides for being farms, that's not what I'm mentioning, is that a lot of them have RVs, which um, it makes sense. It's cool to be able to go places and have the comforts of home. But I don't know, in my opinion, the way I've always seen it is that RVs are for camping. And living out here in the country is like camping. <laughs> is it not? Not really, I'm just kidding. But it's funny that so many, and to me, it's because they know what they're doing. They know, like that's the vacation getaway. Like forget these big fancy hotels, which I like every once in a while, but getting out there, getting in touch with nature, you know, sleeping where the raccoons sleep, that's where it's at. And that's what this whole thing is about to me. So we'll see if we can make it what I think it'll be. I think we can do it. All right, so there's the third big white bridge. It is the Mark Ho Mink Hollow, and I'm here at Arnie Run Park. There's definitely more people here, so I'm hoping this one won't be a bust like the last one. All right, so after about 20 minutes of going through some crazy windy roads, up on hills, one lane roads, where every entrance that you see into the woods or into a driveway has a no trespassing sign, prosecutors will be dealt with promptly. Uh, they all said that, super duper weird. Finally, at the end of the road, got over here. And uh, I wanna talk about that last park, the two glaciers. I'm giving it a pretty high rating, an eight out of 10. And the whole reason is because of the beauty alone. That's it. So. Uh, I really like the Two Glaciers Park, and we're gonna see how nice this one is. So let's get into it. This looks nice already. All right, first things first. Actually, I should have emptied out the the trash can that is the Honey's car into this trash can since I have one. I like to come over to the boards, check what types of uh, memos they have, or maybe even like a 
directory on how the park looks, where you're supposed to go. Rock Mill Days. Oh, it's temporarily closed. Oh, man. All right, well, uh, I think I'm just going to... That's probably where I should have parked. All right, here's the second park, and oh my goodness, pets prohibited again. That's the second time. Look at that. They have the monarchs. They have the butterflies. They have the flower blooms. Oh, man, this is awesome. I think the path is this way. Not 100% sure. There it is. There's the trails. All right, so this is Christmas Rocks State Nature Preserve. Oh, and I know you guys hear that. There is a woodpecker somewhere in the distance, and that is going to be my goal, is to find and see one of those and get it on camera again. Absolutely awesome. Let's get into this. All right, so here is the actual entrance. Holy moly, I wasn't expecting that. I was actually looking for like a trail off to the side, but it is an actual road, which is pretty cool. So there you go. You got the... Christmas Rock State Nature Preserve. No pets, no vehicles. Let's get into it. All right, so I keep hearing the woodpecker coming from this general direction. Just got in here, off to the right somewhere. Oh, that sounds like it's pretty deep in, like somewhere in that area. I don't even know. The trail does look like it curves to the right. There's definitely no way through it, that's for sure. I mean, there may be animal paths or something like that, but this is thick. Those are some big sticks. So definitely not going that way. Oh, I want to find you so bad. You sound huge. And I actually took a video of one, funny enough. One I've never seen before. And two, I've never uh, seen it do something like this before. It was actually on my neighbor's house, like a post to his um, patio. And it made a little hole. He was about this big. He looked like a black and white um, woodpecker, but I couldn't get a clear view because every time I opened my door to go look at him, he flew away, but he, he came back every once in a while. So I had to look at him through the window through the screen. It was a little hard, fuzzy, because he was, like I said, he was only about this big. Yeah, but I've never seen a uh, woodpecker drill into somebody's house. Like I always thought they did that, not just for food, but of course for homes, but that's such a weird place to have a home, especially since how busy it is. Probably would have been safe to mention that. I don't know how long this uh, trail is. This is a really nice trail. And when I was looking at the All Trails app, which is how I keep finding these places, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. I probably should mention that, even though I talk about them a lot. It would be cool to be sponsored by them, but I'm not. Um, it said, I think this is about a one to two hour trail. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've got plenty of time, so I might as well see how far I can get. And if I have to call it quits, I will. It's probably safe to mention that. I know I said I was going to be getting into trouble today, but missing uh, the honey's best friend's wedding is not the kind of trouble I want to be in. That's not something you come back from. Absolutely optimal hiking conditions today. I don't think there's a chance of rain there. Might be maybe like a 10% chance that it is possible, but oh my goodness. A nice sweater, some jeans or some sweatpants oh man and this is it right here that air is cool fresh oh yeah too freaking beautiful i love the pine trees growing on the side of that little hill right here and there could easily be a landslide these would come straight down but look at them gripping that earth i lost sound of the woodpecker i think he flew off oh look at that that is a beautiful tree the one that's losing its skin. Very beautiful. State property bounties. I don't know, what, does that mean I can't go in there? It says no parking. Where am I supposed to place this dump truck? This looks like a scene straight out of Jurassic Park. Like, why are we not allowed to bring our vehicles up here? I mean, I know it's a semi-small trail and you definitely wouldn't be able to do back and forth traffic. There'd only be one way. But check it out. Oh, look at that, folks. I don't know how clear that's coming out, but it's corn. It's so delicious. It's got the juice. Well, it does, just not in that state right there. Once you start doing the uh, proper cooking procedure, that's when the juices developed, said juices. You love to see it. First of all, these are absolutely adorable. And then you've got the little Charlie Brown Christmas tree, like just growing right in front of me. It is very possible if this wasn't so far away from where I live. Oh, that is a gorgeous, big old tree. If this wasn't so far from where I live, I might come out here and decorate him for Christmas time. Just like the cute little Charlie Brown tree. This is a strange pile of stuff. Very cool. You see where the little river was made? 
I think I can actually probably go down there. But let's stick to the trail. I gotta keep reminding myself I don't have that much time. All right, so super cool. There's actually houses up here. And I uh, had to remember that the sign, I believe, said no unauthorized vehicle. So you can drive. This is somebody's driveway. This is legit somebody's driveway. How cool is that? Their driveway is literally uh, in the middle of a metro park or a state park. How cool is that? That barn is gorgeous. It's not really. It's one of those old dilapidated ones, but I still find the aesthetic beauty in those. I like, I like that they're still standing after, you know, several decades. Absolutely impressive, the craftsmanship. Got real nervous for a second, came up to this hill, it says no trespassing, and then I looked over. Thank goodness it was hidden behind this tree for a second. This is the actual entrance to the Christmas Rocks State Nature Preserve. I don't know what they're doing up there, but that sounds like a load of fun. You have to have a parking permit? Wow. Oh man, it's already 10, 10 degrees cooler up here. <laughs> Not really, it feels actually so good. So, so good. Oh, he's uh, pumping the tires up for his brush hog. That's neat. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This might be the actual part that makes it so long. Because that first part, if you just go up and down, that probably won't take you more than 10, 20 minutes, if that. Uh, this might be the actual trail trail. This is beautiful. I'm loving this. Oh, man. I'm so happy that you all could come out here and take a walk with me. This was like one of those unexpected, treasured moments. I was bringing her up here. I had to bring her up here super early. Uh, <laughs> of course, she had to get her coffee. And uh, she's in a bridal party, so everybody had to have coffee. We held up that line for a good... 30 minutes but i digress back to this so coming up here i was like this is like the hawking hills ish area it's like i have to go do something i've got so much time grandma's got the kids believe it or not not that i'm excited about that but i never ever like you know getting a break like that so it was like let's go do something let's go take these wonderful folks through a beautiful trail and i am not disappointed definitely not disappointed Oh man, there's another house up here. Like, how crazy is that? This doesn't look like a driveway, but it is. This is somebody's driveway. That's their house. I don't like to show houses, but that's their house. This is their the state property, though. So now we're about that. This guardrail. So when you're coming down this driveway and it's icy, you don't go flying. It looks like they may have tried. That is scary. There's your no trespassing sign. This one doesn't say you'll be killed if you do, which is kind of relieving. Sure the state probably told them to take it down if they did have one. Wah wah wee wah. The sound of nature and an airplane. So you know you can't fully escape the city, but it doesn't get much closer than this. Unless you're out in a 70 acre swamp down in Florida. Oh yeah. Nothing but crunching leaves and the smooth jazz sound of my voice. Look at that stump. You know, myth says that this stump is pointing directly north or something. That is one suspicious looking tree. All right, I just realized something. Uh, I keep passing couples, probably about six couples so far, which is not too bad. This, uh, is a fairly empty area. Get a decent bit of time to yourself. Um, but that's the thing, I've noticed everybody that I've passed is a couple. So, in a couple of days, once the honey sees this, I might uh, not make it. <laughs> I came up here without her. I took you guys. Oh lord. I didn't even invite her and I took you all? <sighs> okay, I'm in trouble. Here we go. There's the trouble of today's episode. That's the trouble I got into. Just wandering and finding big old trees. Good heavens. That is one gorgeously big tree. And check out this landslide that took place over here. I've noticed that there is a lot of trees, but of course this, this is a pretty steep hill. I was gonna say there's a lot of trees that are uprooted over here and some over there, but I've noticed that there's a ton on this side and there's this one right here. It's not on that side. I mean, it is technically on this side, but it started on this side. Check that out. Cute little pathway that we've got to take. That is a giant, yeah, fallen giant. Good lord. 
Oh, critters. Oh, chipmunks. Oh yeah. You know I'm friendly. Check it out. You gotta have the proper footwear if you come here. Oh, you're still in there. Oh, you took off that way. That looks suspiciously weird. But this is the woods. And suspiciously weird things are around every turn. Under every leaf, there's something suspiciously weird. <laughs> There is some weird sound. I doubt the microphone is picking it up, but it sounds like a, like a DJ in a DJ booth scratching a disc over there. All I hear is I'm assuming it's some type of creature, be it winged, bipedal, humanoid. It's there. I'm not 100% sure if there's an actual, there has to be some type of uh, creek, probably straight down there. Now I can see it like do drops right over here. That's the other side is over there. There's definitely something in this ravine. Something to be seen in that ravine. But whether or not I will saw it is yet to be determined. Ooh, we're going downhill now. I always liked going downhill. I hear water. I definitely hear some rushing water. Oh yeah, I see it now. Oh, it's just tripped. I was distracted by the uh, the river there, or creek. Oh, this is beautiful. B e a u t full. So, as some of you uh, regular viewers know, uh, I'm very camera shy. Believe it or not, for those of you that are just finding this out, it is actual true. I'm very camera shy. I don't like filming in front of people. I don't mind being by myself talking to the camera. Uh, but when there's people around, there's just something weird about it. It's like my thoughts are coming out and I'm not comfortable sharing it with people in my actual vicinity, but sharing it with the world online, why not, you know? Sounds like a great thing to do. But uh, so every time I pass people, I have to turn the camera off or else I'll just freeze and you'll just see me morning. <laughs> That's what you'll see. So I'm 100% sure these people can hear me long before they see me. I'm literally the only other thing making noise out here. It is so quiet. Uh, you know, the, the river's making, or the little creek is making a little bit of noise. There's some bugs, some birds, but I'm pretty sure I'm the loudest thing out here besides that guy that was blowing something, brushing up his brush hog or something like that. So I know they see me before they, or they hear me before they see me. So <laughs> they're probably expecting some super weirdo and they, they get it. That's what they get. Oh my, almost didn't see it, but I stopped uh, looking straight and decided to look to my right. And there it is, a flowing creek. And I can't see it beyond right here. Once I go this way, I'll lose it. It's somewhere, but that is too cool. I mean, I could go down there. There's nothing really stopping me except for it being extremely muddy and not me having the right shoes on. Check it out, y'all. I am not the only fun guy in these woods. Pretty neat, I love it. There's such a big drop right there. Oh, that was a cute sounding bird. Oh, nice, there's like an archway up here. Uh, I do have to mention this is fairly, fairly easy trail. Even though now we're going back uphill, it is very rocky, uh, but for the most part, it's flat. Uh, the trail itself. There's no like big divots and stuff like that. Of course, it's going uphill, so it's not flat flat, but uh, You can hear me. I'm kind of panting. I don't know why Maybe because I didn't eat today. That's probably it. Maybe I'm about to faint. That's more than likely what's about to happen. Look at this archway That is so cool. Imagine being here when this fell and like being in this area right here and this thing just landing on top of you and the thing that rescues you is a tree that is like an eighth of its size. How crazy is that? Oh, look at that, has been dead for a while. Lots of more fun guys. So I'm gonna give this park a 10 out of 10 as a rating. It is absolutely gorgeous for one. I, pick, I mean, I picked a really good day, so that helps a lot. Even if it was rainy though, this would still be an amazing course, especially since I think the creek would uh, blossom a lot more and uh, stand out and make a lot more sounds. Uh, walkability, super duper easy. Things are coming crashing down. Uh, chance to die because things are crashing down is apparently a high chance, especially over here. So beautiful. 
yeah definitely a 10 for 10 would recommend if you live in this area or if you're looking for a wonderful trail to come and visit i think so far this one's worth it i've been trekking for about 45 minutes now on this single trail alone that doesn't even include the beginning trail which is only like five ten minutes depending on how briskly you walk but man oh man i want to know where does this go i've decided that that is a nice boulder that is a nice boulder i've decided that i'm going to push it to the limits and you know i'll get to that wedding when i get to that wedding this is i shouldn't say more important this is important this is important for mental health just on that basis alone that you know you can use that as an excuse to not do anything you don't want to you know i'm taking a mental health day why not so just being out here really not too many people to run into and if you do they're hikers you know they don't they're very sociable nice people so clean air beautiful day nature come on it's my robert de niro some of you may have noticed that I am very similar to a squirrel in the woods. You're not wrong. All right, I've decided to officially downgrade the rating. I know it's, it seems like a shock. From a perfect 10 out of 10 to a 9.9999999, only because, uh, besides for the millions upon millions of bathroom points, there is no bathroom. I don't believe at the beginning, or anywhere on the trail thus far. So if you've got uh, an issue that you need to relieve or take care of, I mean, without so many people here, I mean, just go if you have to, but especially if you need to. Uh, there's no real good place to officially use the bathroom. One and only complaint. Literally drops it down a billionth of a point. Nothing to be alarmed about. I do suggest you, there's no gas stations. I think about it on the way here. A lot of windy, curvy roads, and I, I mentioned earlier that I ended up back where I started. So I started driving after leaving Two Glaciers Park, and about 20 minutes into driving, I realized I just made a giant circle back to pretty much where I was. I was probably like three minutes up the road from Two Glaciers, but of course I turned right instead of left, because I didn't use the GPS at that point, and I wasted a lot of time. And this thing is not telling me to re direct it is literally everything here is a giant circle so if you miss it don't bother turning around just take this beautiful 30 minute scenic road uh, back to where you just were so please hang tight we'll get you there that's what the gps around here says that breeze or a waterfall that could be a waterfall but i'm pretty sure it's the breeze it is knocking down leaves and, and acorns and i am literally entering it just stopped of course maybe if i talk some some more and a lot louder It'll attack me again. That is a beautiful big old tree. You can kind of hear some. It was like rain almost. It was tick, 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 tick. Acorns and whatnot falling all around me. A neat little bridge. I'm sure this is a uh, big runoff area. There's actually people behind me. Oh, they're jogging. I was gonna say, nobody has caught up with me from behind yet. But they are definitely going to take me from behind here in a second. Super duper adorable. I normally wouldn't do this, but I have to film these people. They are actually on a date right now. Uh, a jogging date in the middle of the woods. I heard them as they were passing, talking about future date ideas and the fella. Uh, so genuinely asked, is this a good pace for you? Hmm. I think she's running faster than you, sir. All right, so there's more of those DJ sound noises. I hope the microphone is picking them up. It honestly sounds like monkeys now. Little tiny monkeys. Like sugar gliders almost. Which I think they're monkeys. Pretty sure. They're marsupials for sure. They're somewhere. Out there. What a weird sound. If you have any clue, or what's your best guess as to what is actually making that noise, if you can hear it. If not, this is such a wasted scene. But I'm going to drag it out. Just kidding. Well, looky here, I almost ran right past this and I've been looking for some cool mushrooms to talk about, but there's a mushroom. Don't eat it. Don't. But check this one out. That is super neat. Something I think has been eating it. Some more fun guys in the woods. Wow, another massively down tree that blocked the path. Momentary and look at that root system. Holy moly. Big ol' roots. 
massive tree. Still looks great. But I think we're getting close to something. Oh, look. Oh, there's two different trails. Oh, see that? I don't know. I'm sure it was on that uh, board that I looked at. What is the blue and what is the yellow? Ah, man. Uh, that one has stairs, so why not? I have a feeling this one's going to be a lot shorter. And it goes uphill. Maybe I should have chosen the downhill, but... Already started on this way. Nice, small path made by animals. Some creature for sure. This is gorgeous. It's actually getting warmer the higher I go up. There's more sunshine coming through. The canopy is uh, dispersing a little bit. Oh, super cool. So many trees. That one's been down for a while. Look at that. He's got a whole new head of hair. It's actually a really comfy looking place to take a nap if you really need to. Alright, this part, uh, as far as accessibility, I'm going to drop this down to a two. Goodness gracious. That is a bitter rating right there. This is super steep. I love it. So I'm going to give it a ten because of that. Forget that too. I love this. It is definitely difficult though, so be mindful if you do decide to come this way. I honestly didn't know this was this long. I would have, of course, packed something to drink, have a water in the car. There's sand here. That's neat. Maybe there's a beach at the top of this mountain that I'm scaling. So just your friendly taking a risk PSA, make sure if you're going to come onto a uh, trail that's a lot bigger than you expect. Bring some water, maybe even a snack. This part of the trail is at like a 50 degree angle. I don't know angles, just making stuff up. But, if you stop over here, check out this tree, there's your angleage, because that's growing pretty much straight up and down. So you can see how much of an angle there is, a slope. Whew, that is definitely not easy. And it honestly just keeps going up and up. My calves are on fire. My newborn baby calves. Burning. These shoes are great for working out. So at least I have the comfort in my feet. But good lord, I was not expecting this. This is taking its toll on my back. I almost need to hunch over. Oh, that's a little better. It's high altitude. It's making me do funny things. Whew. Definitely not no, not used to this clean of air. Ugh, it's so fresh. <laughs> Check it out, folks. Another beautiful mushroom. Once again, don't eat it. Don't. But check that out. What a cute... Never seen a cool looking pink one like that. Back to this wonderful trail. And I think... Nope. It keeps going. I can't, can't, I can't imagine it goes for much longer though. Looks like... It's starting to round off. And I did end up going back. So, you know, the first trail I was on, it was that way. Now, I'm going back this way from where I came. Ooh, lordy. All right. Whew. Oh, wow. It does indeed keep going. Wonderful. Wow, we are still going up and up, but I had to stop and show you this beautiful little bed of moss right here. That's the first of its kind that I've actually seen growing on the dirt and not on a fallen log. And as I said, we are still just going up and up. I'm really hoping with the positioning of the end of this, if there is an end, that it circles back to the entrance. If not, whew, it's gonna be a fun ride coming down. All right, so this is honestly looking like the peak 
Maybe. I don't know if I've peeked yet. I'm taking a peek at what I suppose is the peak. And look at all the beautiful moss. Now you will notice that it's all growing on this side. Well, I guess that can be that side, right? Who knows? This side, this side of the trees. Except for that one, don't mind him. I don't think that moss grows on a certain side. I think I was, that was debunked not too long ago. Moss just grows. Just like most plants, they just grow. Life finds a way, and more often than not, is not the way we expect. The path is still about the same, I guess. Same size. Uh, kind of going up and down. I'm really thinking this connects back to the uh, other trail, but I do not recall seeing any type of entrance, but I could have missed it. It's very possible. Could have missed the uh, entrance when I first got here to the orange trail, which is what I'm on. Orange, I'm assuming, is a higher difficulty. I don't know hiking lingo, but I'm sure that something similar to that is part of their lingo. Blue is probably easy. Red is probably extremely difficult. It's probably a green, which is normal, semi-easy. All just assumptions, folks. Would be cool if they didn't have something like that, if they did implement something like that for people who want to get into hiking, but I'm sure they do. This is one of those scenarios, again, that I like to point out, but of course I don't follow uh, my own preaching, but of course I learn by doing, so... But I mean, this is something that's been practiced for forever. If you are going to go someplace new that you've never been, tell somebody. Don't just wander off. If you have somebody, don't just wander off, you know, into some woods that you've never explored before in an area that you've never been in before and uh, have no cell service. And all you have is a camera and a, uh, your imagination to talk to. Oh, wow, very cool. So behind me, that's the path. There's the arrow. Well, I came from that way. So the arrow's saying this way, which hopefully that cuts right back across to the uh, to the actual trail that I was on the main trail. But there you go, private property. What the heck to the nature preserve? Oh, no access, okay. Who owns this? Not that I really care, that's more of a rhetorical question, but how do you go about owning something like that? Grandfathered maybe? Inherited? Wish I could inherit stuff like that. Oh my God. This trail, way easier. I feel like I'm going south. It always feels like you're going downhill when you're going south, according to Entz. Hopefully somebody out there understands that reference. Beautiful. Believe it or not, I'm sweating. That, uh, the orange trail coming up here is no joke. It is about 60 degrees now, and it is so strenuous that I'm sweating. Of course, I can't show you. But this path is wonderful. This path down, this is super easy breezy. Check it out. The sights, the smells, the no sounds besides for my own voice. Amazing. All right, almost walked past this and uh, I gotta say, this mushroom looks oddly suspicious and very similar resembling to the ones in Mario. Should we eat it? Will I get bigger? No, don't eat it. Don't don't listen to that last guy. Don't eat it. That wonderful nature feeling when you walk face first into a spider web full of snacks. I got three or four flies tightly bundled in my mouth. Folks, I found him. That woodpecker. Or at least one similar to it. I came up here kind of quick and he flew. Let's see if I can spot him again. I think that may be him squeaking. That right there. There, there it is. Dang it. The thing is huge. No, that, that wasn't him squeaking. That's a different bird. Oh. Don't stop because of me. I swear he started to knock. There goes that little bird. I don't 
can't see him anymore. Son of a gun, that thing was awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, if there was ever a moment of something to bring tears to my eyes on this channel, which there's several, this would be one of those moments. Check out this view. First of all, this beautiful big old tree. Check it out. And the other reason why I think this is gonna bring tears to my eyes is because I'm not sure if there's an actual way down from here besides for going back. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh wow. Mm, that breeze coming in. Helping to cool the sweat on my knees. Thank you breeze. Oh wow, there's like a little perch down there too. Wow. Wow. I can't even explain just the absolute awe I'm in. I don't know how high up this is, but it feels like several hundred feet. And look at that. Thumbnail moment. <laughs> Had to do it. I'm all by myself. I have to keep myself entertained. So, while wandering around, that's the path I came on. I was so focused at the view over there. There's a second path. Now this does go back and curves a little bit. I'm really skeptical that this is gonna take me back to the original path. But, what do I have to lose besides for time and myself? Yeah, I could get lost. Yeah, that, that's always a possibility. Yeah, that's a realistic possibility. Right on the side of this big old mountain hill. I think it's actually a hill. This is pretty close to Hawking Hills, I'm sure. This would be classified as a hill. Wow, look at this. This is extremely downhill. Uh, whew. Definitely need some boots, hiking boots, something with grip for sure. Don't come out here with flip flops. You will flop and you will flip and probably tumble all the way back down here and break your hip. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that's that's a secondary path. I'm gonna assume that's animal though, hopefully. Oh, this is super cool. Look at this rock staircase that I'm probably gonna slip off of. Oh yeah, not bad. Oh look at that, oh look at that. Would you look at it? Oh wow, what an amazing little chill spot. Woo, loving it. That is too cool. Oh, that is so cool. And it circles back around to the main trail, or at least the uh, side main trail, I guess. Oh, that was a big bug. Lots of rock stairs, I love it. Oh, there's a sign, thank goodness. And it is pointing ahead of where I'm going, which means I am going the right way for the orange trail, which, oh, okay. The orange trail is what I was on. So hopefully this is not just like looping me back to the orange trail and then I gotta go back down the orange trail. <laughs> of course, the first time I deviate from the trail, I came this way, thinking I was slick. I saw this cool area up here, which I'll show you in a second. Just got to this part and saw that there was a straight path to get up here. Check this out, folks. First of all, let's look over there. Let's admire that, but then let's look at this. Oh my God, that's a freaking rock cavern. It's not very deep, but still, I don't get to see very many of these. And this is a definite spot. Look at that. Early humans have been here. Any cave drawings? There probably was. Look, it looks like there was cave writing. Something etched in right there. Either that or nature did its thing. Greatest graffiti artist is nature. Coining that right now. Let's get over there and see what's up there. I love that I'm practically alone up here. But of course there is a little bit of a, that's a cool path right there. That's the goat path. I think that takes you right back to where I was. But I wanna see this big, oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. There's definitely a trail here. I'm not gonna say it's an actual trail. But this has definitely been trampled on several times. Oh my. And I'm still within the boundaries of the state park. I'm positive that the uh, area that's not is over that way. I saw a sign while coming down here. Oh, look at that. Look, my initials. 
You'd think I'd been here, GR. This is what I was really interested in coming to see. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh man, I'd love to be able to climb that. Let's circle around, take in this one more time. Gorgeous, look at that beautiful little seat right there. Just dug out perfectly. I do have to be somewhat cautious. There are, I believe, mountain lions. I don't know if in this area, but I'm pretty sure this is a little thick for me. Oh, that's cool right there. And this just seems like prime real estate for a uh, cougar. You know, you know, I love cougars. Love them. But I'm not trying to meet one right now. All right, I just couldn't take it anymore. I actually decided to scale down the mountain. I don't recommend that, especially if you're alone, you don't know where you're going. But I, surprisingly enough, knew exactly where I was, which is very rare for me. But here is the main path, hopefully. This could just be, no, there's the archway. Oh, look at that, that beautiful archway. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for signaling where I'm at. So I'm gonna head back down, get in my car, and probably go home and call it a day. Let's see if I can make it to the end, though. Did make it back onto the path. This has been such a wonderful exploration. Definitely something I'd like to share with my kids some days. Rest of the family, definitely bring them out here. Probably take them on the blue trail. That uh, orange trail, I think, was built for me and maybe Jax. Oh, definitely Evelyn. Uh, <laughs> the rest of the family is going to struggle, that's for sure. Especially with the wrong footwear and the fact that the baby can barely walk. But, I mean, she does a good job. She does her best. That's what matters. Try your best. It's all that matters. Oh, somebody else is up on the hill now. I just heard some voices. Sound like kids. Impressive. Very impressed right now. They don't even sound like they're huffing and puffing. So... That's all for this episode. Thank you so much, folks, for watching. If you didn't already, go ahead and like the video. Make sure you subscribe so that you can see all the rest of the amazing adventures that myself and my family will be going on. Y'all are invited, so you might as well get that notification. And uh, in the comment section below, let me know about the RVs. Is it better to get a pull one with a truck or a drivable one? A nice luxury drivable one. Especially since there's five of us. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one.